hanging out with your mom and your sister and your brother and your sister-in-law. You know who was at, you weren't there, but you know who was at my house to shop is Zev Posner. Yeah, he's still in town. You brought the kids too? No, he's here for a week. How's your bro? He's good. He's good. He's a young boy. It's all gonna be good. You doing good? Can't complain. Noah was just telling us about George Harrison and uh, and Paul McCartney. They were in the same band. They went all around the world together. George Harrison, at the end of his life, was saying the deepest things about the Kaddish Baruch Hu. There's nothing else but to bring the light of God into the world. And I told him, I was reading the Breeders' Digest, and Paul McCartney says some of the most shallowest things you could ever think of in the world. And I says, you know, but they were in the same places all the time. Who ended up with Jewish children? That's a good, good Muslim. So, so this, the choice is all ours. You know what I'm saying? We can leave, we're in the same place with the same people. But the peer pressure is just so strong sometimes. And George, he said a funny thing. He says, my blessing is I was never good looking. So I was never going to be really popular anyway. Paul McCartney was always good looking. So he was like always thought he had a chance of being popular. So he would like go along with what people were saying. He's convinced himself everyone's going to like him. But he says, I knew no one's going to like me. So I wasn't worried about going along with the rest of the people. You know what I'm saying? So you got a big challenge, you're a good looking dude, you know. And uh, but you gotta stand your ground, my man. At the end, we we spoke, I don't know if you were here in the but you were, you weren't in the beginning, but we said the unbelievable thing when Purim, the Shulchan Orach or Achaim ends with halachas of Purim Katan. Not Purim, it should be really Purim, because what's first? What's before Purim? Purim Katan. Right? But well, it ends with Purim Katan. Why? Because the last verse there it says... Tov leif mishta tamid. What's the translation? Good heart drinks always. Yeah! It's the last thing. I'll drink to that. What's the first thing it says in the Orachayim though? Shaviti Hashem negdi tamid. So that's the secret. In the beginning, it don't speak about the simcha. In the beginning, we have to put a Kaddish Baruch Hu in front of us all the time. If we do that, it's not fun in the beginning. It's not like all of a sudden you start Brook Shema in the morning and you're jumping off the walls. But if you make it through chakras, you get to Elena and you said, Yala, Amamash, tell us a few words about the Kaddish Baruch Hu. You make it to the dining room and you even make Birkat Mazon. You start to feel, yeah, I'm a yid, I'm a lover of you. I'm a much want to serve the cut of voice. You start feeling some simcha, you right? That's what it is in the life. Whoever now makes some work with the Yetzirah, trust me, the Orachayim tells at the end, he's going to be dancing and singing, not just in Olam Abba, it's in Olam Azeh. The real people that you see are the real simcha dick people. It's the people that really are with the cut of all the day. Doesn't mean they don't work. Doesn't mean they don't go to the army. Doesn't mean they don't take their kids out for a trip in the woods. Doesn't mean they're doing other things except Torah or anything. But it means all the time, Shavit Hashem and God bless you, my man. You got a holy mom. I didn't have any I was there. She's very holy, right? Huh? She's spiritual, huh? She like, I got heaps of families in the woods. Right? There's a great vibe in your house there, huh? It's a trip. It's a trip, but I'm sure everyone there is going to end up serving Hashem. I'm positive 100 percent It's a great vibe. Send my regards there. Okay, we're doing now Why My Guitar Gently Groups.